Hello students, it's me, your instructor Al Trujillo, and I wanted to show you about a feature within Blackboard that I'm using throughout the course, and it's called Mark Reviewed or Adaptive Release. And how this works is that you have to click on these Mark Reviewed buttons to be able to see all items in a folder. So here I am in Blackboard, and uh, this is uh, your course may look a little different than this uh, in terms of color and some of the layout items, but it has these navigation buttons, which are really to the different folders on the left here. And um, I wanted to show you that within certain um, folders, like for instance in weekly checklists, uh, it's empty, and this is the message it gives you when that folder's empty. Same thing for weekly assignments. Uh, the click on study tips, click on writing assignment, all this stuff is not released yet because you really need to start in the basic course info folder. So when you click on the basic course info folder, it will look something like this and it has various items within this but uh, the only item that you can see so far is this first item so this is actually showing the video um, and information about the adaptive release feature in blackboard and what uh, what i've done is i've recorded a, a video so there's a short youtube video that you'll be able to watch uh, explaining this and then once you read the information once you do whatever it says like to watch this video um, then you'll click on this Mark Reviewed button right here. Notice also that I put that the total number of items in the folder is 12. And as you can see, you can only see one of those items so far. But watch what happens when you click on the Mark Reviewed. So I'm going to click on the Mark Reviewed, and the page reloads, and now we have the second item in the list. And this one has to do with, are you ready to be an online student? And once you go to that site, it's actually a Palomar College site, and read the information there, uh, you'll click on the Mark Reviewed button again. So let me click on this one. Notice also that the Reviewed, it now uh, has a check mark in it, so it indicates that you've done that part. Second item in here, yes, you've reviewed. There's a check mark on that. Now you have access to the online course syllabus and also options for purchasing the textbook. So what you'll need to do in this folder, and again, it shows that there's 12 items in this folder. So in this folder, there are 12 items. You're now looking at only three of them. And you'll be able to access everything by continuing to click on these Mark Reviewed buttons. I'm going to pause the recording for a moment, and then I'll be back once I've actually done all this and show you what this looks like. All right, I'm back. And what I've done is I've gone through and clicked on all the Mark Reviewed buttons. You'll notice also there's a quiz that you'll need to take on the syllabus, a uh, five-question quiz, and successfully complete that with uh, four out of five questions right or better. And uh, when that happens, then uh, the next item with the Mark Review becomes available. So you'll need to go through this and look at all these things. And then at the very end, you'll get to the bottom, the, the, the last item on the list here, what to explore next. So by clicking on these Mark Review buttons or by completing the quiz then, and uh, we'll give you access to all the 12 items in that folder. So now let's go to the weekly checklist. And that is now populated with... Uh, uh, assignments and uh, checklist uh, summary of required assignments. Uh, we click on weekly assignments. Uh, there's your week one assignments which are now visible to you once you've completed all 12 items in the basic course info. There's also information on study tips and uh, there's information on the writing assignment as well. So all these different things become visible to you once you complete all the items in the basic course info by completing all the different uh, Mark Reviewed items within that. So, um, And again, whenever you see one of these Mark Reviewed buttons, you'll know to click on that, which will then give you access to the next item in the folder. So that's a little bit about how to use the adaptive release feature. Um, just as a as a warning as you go through the course if you're uh, clicking on like the weekly assignments and you can only see week one but it's actually week two of the semester or week three of the semester and you don't have those items you'll need to go into the week one folder and click on all 13 in this case all 13 items uh, mark reviewed and then 
week two will magically appear. So if you ever get to a point where you can't see information, it's not because I haven't posted it, it's more likely it's because, well, that actually could happen, but very rarely. It is more likely, though, that you haven't clicked on all the market views for the current week or the previous week to release the items of the current week that you're in. So that's a little bit about Mark Reviewed, and as always, if you have questions, feel free to contact me.